Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to the Bullish Bears YouTube channel. I am Bullish Bears Jeremy, and today I'm presenting you with a video that explains a couple things about how I utilize my Weeble Desktop Edition to run all my custom live streams and do all of my trading essentially. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go and open up my home screen here and show you what I've done. So in this, I have customized my home screen for my account as follows and this is what you see on my screen when i'm trading so effectively you can customize all of this you can set up any modules you want you'll end up with little hamburger menus and that's the important thing to know is that any of these modules can be used to generate a full screen uh full grid any way you want to customize it type of setup so we're going to go to this hamburger menu and click on that and then we're going to add a widget in this case i'm going to add a chart because we want to build a four screen full grid. Go to this hamburger menu and click detach chart. Now we have an independent screen that we can do whatever the heck we want with. Um, you can center it here for full screen into the module or you can pull it up into the corner like so. Grab a pull down tab on the edge of it like this and drag it out to full screen. And here's where the magic happens. If you want to build this into a grid, you simply click on grid up here at the top of your screen. Go over to, I use a four screen grid. And if you would like, you can have the same symbol on all of them. You can synchronize everything, including crosshairs, indicators, all that stuff. I usually run with indicators synced. And I tend to keep the crosshair sync off because I have several different equities and ETFs on display at any given moment. So I tend to have quite a few different things. <clears throat> now, if I leave this on synchronize anywhere I click, it's going to synchronize all symbols. So you're gonna go ahead and click that off and then you can change everything into your custom build. Um, you can also align it to where you can have all your indicators up here and set those all up as well. The other magic thing you can do is if you don't want a four screen, you can go and have a two screen parallel. You can have three charts, one over the top of the other. You can go and pull down this menu and customize it any way you want. You can have it up and down. You can have it side by side. You can go with up to nine screen grid and have pretty much everything you want all in one place and completely customizable. Let's go ahead and add a widget and in this case I'm going to add options. Now I have an options menu in this with a chart so I can flash back and forth. All right that is pretty much the gist of it. So again thank you for joining us today and hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified when we produce something new like we do every day. Thanks again. Have a wonderful one.